because I thought this week maybe I would try to do an art video. So today we're going to look at how to draw a cat. Um, I already started by drawing a grid. You can kind of see the lines. I used the lines on the paper to help me make sure my lines were kind of straight. But I've got four blocks across and three blocks down to help me get started. And I'm going to start with the head and the body of our cat. Um, I'm going to just kind of draw it right in here. His head's kind of football shaped or eye shaped and then the body is kind of square okay after I add that in I'll go back and add some ears our ears are kind of triangles And our tail, which can kind of just kind of up off the end here, loop around like that. And then a couple of legs down here. They don't have to be real perfect, just leg-like. And if you're using a pencil, it's easy to erase and fix mistakes or make it look more leg-like. Okay, and we'll go back and add in the face. I'm going to draw kind of a half circle line here and put the eyes. And then the little nose and mouth down off like this. I'm more of put the neck in there. Okay. Then we will all put the center of the eyes and the other legs. Our cat's kind of walking so that its legs are kind of like that. I have a book that I'm looking at. I borrowed it from a friend of mine. She thought it might be something you guys would like. And then you just go back in and kind of soften your corners, make it look more round instead of square. Erase places where it looks kind of square. Can erase that corner out there. Erase that line there. These corners here. Maybe make its belly a little more belly like. Okay. And then you can erase your grid. Maybe, and the back is kind of straight there, so maybe we can just kind of take its back and make it a little bit more rounded. Because I know my cat's back is not that straight. And then go back and erase all your lines out as best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can color your cat however you'd like. Um, maybe put some little toes on her feet. Uh, maybe some whiskers. Mm, maybe some stripes. Maybe stripes all the way down its tail. Maybe some stripes on its head. Or spots or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's your cat. Make it look however you want. There's a little mouth there. Maybe I'm going to add some triangles inside the ears because you know I can kind of see inside your cat's ears. Okay. And then color and decorate however you'd like. So there's a nice simple little cat. Something for you to give a shot at. And I will do another uh, animal or something next week. I'll only do one of these a week. Practice drawing cats this week. And next week we'll pick something else. Bye!